everyone. I am Flo Nicholas, uh, tech startup founder for Cheap Cheap, uh, director, producer, and creator of Get Tech Smart. And we're here today because I am part of the LinkedIn Accelerator Program, Technology and Innovation. And for the next six weeks, I am going on a global explosion. This is Get Tech Smart global explosion where I'm going to feature women and minorities around the world who are doing some incredible things in the tech industry and don't get the recognition they deserve. So for today's episode, I have my good friend, Mariette Claudie Davis, a lawyer, a techie, but not an, just an extraordinary techie. So we're going to talk about your journey and welcome today. Thank you so much uh, for being here. Thank you so much for having me. And so we're going to talk about your journey into tech, but you're like digging deep into the blockchain and the Web3 and the financial tech sector. So how of, of everything going on in the tech industry, how did you say, this is what I'm going to do? So really, I pivoted into this space in a nonlinear fashion, much like my journey in my life. So I knew that this would be no exception. I really took the plunge by doing something simple, buying Bitcoin. Oh, wow. I should have bought it years ago, kind of could have, would have, should have. But when I got the awareness that there was something innovative happening, I took the plunge, purchased it, uh, read the um, Bitcoin white paper, and from there really started my journey. Now the, the journey kind of veered off a little bit, but I decided, made an intentional decision that I wanted to learn more about the space. And then it started my journey, everything from watching YouTube videos to being a attendee in a really special conference that set the foundation, um, sponsored by the International Women of Blockchain, hosted by Black Women Blockchain. And it was women all over the world month long, talking about different things in Web3, NFTs, digital assets, legal compliance, you know, the basics, the building blocks, global things in Web3. So that pivot, I think that was the pivotal moment when I really decided, you know what, I could make a mark here yeah. and I could provide value in this space. And, and then finally, I just jumped in and got involved. Yeah, and you jumped in like like deep, like in the deep end. Like you didn't even take your time, you know, going into the you know the, the little baby area. You you just jumped into the deep end. And and one thing that I love about you is, you know, I I've been looking at the blockchain um, industry and the Web three, and and it's very complex, right? It, it's it's very complex. So the fact that you're deep in, digging deeper uh, into the sector, but you're also writing articles. You, you started writing articles um, explaining you know, what blockchain is and what Web3 is. But what you have brilliantly done is your articles are quite simple. And meaning that anyone can read it and understand it. So yes, you're focusing on this industry, but anyone else who wants to learn, um, you're kind of, I feel like you're on a mission to really teach other people about this sector. Will that be correct? Yes. I think one of my superpowers is connecting, but really yeah. being a bridge. Yeah. And when I got into this space, I realized that being a bridge was an asset, especially because we're in the the, the realm of, you know, building and, and trying to create mass adoption. So having people who can build bridges from the outside and bring people in, I felt like was an asset and really needed in this community. Yeah. And what are some of the yeah, fantastic things that you're learning, like uh, in, in blockchain that, you know, the average person uh, wouldn't know? Well, I think it really has started with the foundations. I've been really blessed and fortunate to have um, participated in a number of cohorts, which I'm in today. So cohorts that teach you about digital assets and understanding the difference between the types of digital assets, um, the foundations of blockchain, layer one, layer two, understanding the terms and the dynamics, also understanding legal and compliance challenges within the space. The space is ambiguous. It's building. It's always growing. And for attorneys in the space, that is particularly challenging 
because I come from a background where I want precedent. I want right. <laughs> known facts. And so you are literally in a space where you are helping businesses make decisions that in many cases have never been done before. And so learning the nuances of that, I think, is, is one of the big things that I'm learning. And then finally, and I think most importantly, is the vision of this space, which is building community, building peer-to-peer -peer networks, and building a decentralized creator economy, and really digging into the different faucets of what that means in right. the NFT space, in the creative space, in the tech building blockchain space, and then finally in other areas like marketing and legal. Yeah, it's it's uncharted territory, right? I think every day we're we're learning something new about this space. Um, and I, I think what you're doing is phenomenal because I'm learning from you. Uh, this this is one area that I said, okay, I'm gonna start learning, but I'm like, oh my goodness, <laughs> there is I'm like, there is so much going on. But I think the basic, starting with the basic foundations, is, is that the advice that you will give to any other person who is trying to dive in into blockchain? Yes. So starting with the basic foundations, getting in with the community of mentorship is, I think, really key. Even though I did a lot of self-study when I first started, when I had the opportunity to join cohort programs and mentorship programs to go through, whether it's the basics or even expert levels, which I was initially potentially fearful of doing, I jumped in because I, I, I felt like having self-education is, is key and important, but being in a group in a community where you can yeah. learn and be pulled together, I think is one of the great things about this space. Yeah, I'm inspired. Listen, I'm going to join you. Let, let me just get over. Right now, my focus is learning like artificial intelligence for cybersecurity. So I'm like, let me become a subject matter expert there. And then I will challenge myself uh, because the, the blockchain um, sector is, is quite interesting. And, you know, I think the demand off it is growing. Um, you know, we're seeing big companies, even like uh, Walmart, for example, that, that uses blockchain for uh, uh, their supply chain. So, you know, just monitoring vendors and, and the way packages are, are circulating and being delivered. So the demand is growing, right? And, and do you encourage other uh, women, especially minorities, to dive deep like you did in the deep end for uh, this sector? Well, I think it's all about exposure and understanding your why. I think that there's so many different avenues of tech. I am specifically in this kind of subsector of Web3 and blockchain, but I think it's understanding kind of what value can you give and what do you need from the sector? So I always encourage people to, to kind of put their toe in really start learning, like I said, the basics. And one of the things I think that could be really helpful, you were saying like AI. So what I try and teach people to do, or you know, encourage people to do is say, okay, you're passionate about this. What is maybe something that within Web3 that's connected to that? So there, are there any partnerships with companies like AI companies in the Web3 space partnering together? And what are they doing? Because you start with that foundation of the passion for women, I believe it helps to anchor them so that they're then, okay, then what are the basics? Because they're already passionate about X subject. Yeah, I, I think that's a great advice. That's a great tip is uh, don't be afraid to try. That would be my number one advice because that's what I have done in, in terms of exploring all the uh, trendy, uh, innovative technologies is you, you got to take the bite of the apple and then kind of say, mm, no, this is not the apple for me. You know what I mean? So it's I think the advice you're giving is is for anyone, uh, honestly, uh, no matter what industry you're in, who's looking to pivot, um, because there is that regulation and compliance sector, which I think is going to be huge, because like you said, right now, they are, regulators are trying to figure out how to regulate <laughs> this uncharted territory. So I think you're a step ahead of the program. Agreed. And I think uh, I am a proponent of smart regulation, 
of creating an international framework that creates a balance between protecting investors because I come from a regulated background. So I do understand the need and I see what can happen when you are kind of wild, wild westing everything. Yeah. Like everything can't be the wild, wild west. You have to understand when to have that balance, but That's also on the other end, having that balance enough where you have, like you were saying, people who understand the space and can create a regulatory framework that still maintains the integrity of the vision of yes. what this space stands for. I love this. I could hear you talk about this all day. I'm going to be blowing up your phone because you know your stuff and, and I want to learn more about uh, blockchain and the Web3 uh, and the regulatory and the compliance issues. So, you know, thank you so much for taking time to speak with me today. I really want to feature and spotlight the amazing work that you're doing uh, in this tech sector that is still quite unknown, but you are helping us uh, know a little bit more about it. So thank you for all you're doing. Thank you so much for having me. No problem, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Get Tech Smart Global Explosion LinkedIn Accelerator Program Technology and Innovation. Stay tuned for more and I will be producing more in the next six weeks.